moments and expectations. The expectation of a function g of a random variable x is defined as the integration or the sum uh, as you see depending on if x is continuous or discrete. Uh, some properties of expectation. The expectation of a constant is the constant itself. The expectation is a linear operator so if a and b are constants the expectation of a g x plus b is a of e g x plus b. And uh, if y is a sum of several functions of x, then the expectation of the sum is the sum of the expectations. Uh, if the function g is the random variable x itself, uh, then we have the expected value of x or the average of x or the mean of x. So this is the simplest moment that we can have for a random variable and we can generalize this. We can generalize this uh, by raising it to powers more than 1 uh, or we take the difference from the mean and then raise it to uh, an integer power. So the first moment uh, about 0, the first raw moment of the random variable x is the mean itself. <clears throat> the second moment about uh, the mean, so when g is x minus mean whole squared, we have the well-known variance of the random variable. So uh, this way we, as I said, we can define the, the kth central moment, it's x minus mean whole to the power of k and the expectation of that is the kth central moment. Uh, the first central moment is 0. The second central moment, as I said, is the variance. Uh, likewise, you can define the kth raw moment, so e of x to the power of k, and uh, the first, as I said, the first raw moment is the mean itself. Uh, you can express the central moments in terms of the raw moments and vice versa using the simple binomial series. So uh, I have the expressions here and particular cases like uh, the third central moment in terms of the raw moments uh, or the, the third raw moments in terms of the central moments. And at the bottom of the screen you see the binomial series of x and y.